Good morning. So it's super early. Um, me and Mike are off to our first Comic Con. We are off to York Comic Con. Bit apprehensive. Don't really know what to expect. Um, we love all things Marvel, DC, Disney, Harry Potter. So, and it's something we've always wanted to do. So we thought one's in our hometown of York. So let's go. And I thought I'd just do my first ever vlog. Um, and bring you guys along with us. Like I say, it's really early. I mean, it's like half past eight. Um, doors open at 10 if you've got an advance ticket, which we have, we bought them online, um, 11 to general entry. Um, so yeah, come along with us for the journey. Going full decked out today. So obviously I've got my Harry Potter t-shirt on. I'm also taking my Little Mermaid lounge fly, which lights up. I don't know if I'll have the lights on because I don't want to run the batteries out. Um, but I'm also going to be wearing my Villain Vans, which I got in America. So yeah, fully, fully decked out today. And a wonder. Where is you guys alike? This is awesome. Okay. Oh my god, there's Bumblebee. <gasps> Lightning McQueen! Captain America. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, but there's a bumblebee over there. Hi! This is so awesome! Look at Bumblebee! Oh, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> this is awesome already. Literally just turned into the first room. Oh, toy, toy stall already. <laughs> Look at my <laughs> Look at this. I'll zoom out so you can see it. Jesus. Oh my God. So much. Oh, are you in heaven? <laughs> this is literally the first room that we've stepped into. This is insane. We've had a purchase. Michael's had a purchase. He's bought ah, Doctor Strange pop figure that he's been looking for for ages. So, first purchase done. How many more we're gonna do? Loads. Got a hat? What? Lots. 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 Don't know if you can see him behind me. We've literally been in maybe half an hour. And he's making his second purchase. Oh, and he's chatting. We're going to be here ages. Oh, he's tapped. Found him at some more toys. Anything? Or is a lot? Well, the Batman who laughs is pretty cool. Ah. Uh. Not for 25 quid. Made it to the second floor. Oh, it's going to be a long day. Oh, Darth Vader. All of the Star Wars. <laughs> I wondered why he was smiling and then I saw him at the Lego. <laughs> <laughs> this is all really cool. Oh, 
Oh my god, that's awesome. So we've come for some food. I've got mac and cheese. I ain't got a cheeseburger, I'll say that first. Some chips to share and a sausage roll to share. <laughs> Mike's not very happy that he's having to share his sausage roll, but I win. Jesus. Oh my God. Okay, this is his day. That's really tall. <gasps> There's the Power Rangers. Literally all the Power Rangers. Oh my God, there's an Ursula. Hi, Ursula. So we've left the Comic-Con at York Racecourse, haven't we? Yeah. It's a good one. Very good, to be fair. Very good. <laughs> Pretty much Very good to it. Yeah, it was good. Um, there was like four floors. We went round and up once, had some food, and then came down, went round them all again. We've bought lots of stuff, so we'll have to maybe do a bit of a video when we get home and go through everything that we've bought. Yeah. Because, we, we well, bought. we've not bought a lot, you've bought a lot. Well, yeah, but that's always the case. Yeah, that is always the case. So we've left there, we've parked in the tightest car park I've ever seen in York. Um, and we're gonna go and have a look around some shops and maybe do some more geeky stuff. Find lots more geeky shops. Hopefully. <laughs> so we're back from the comic con and we thought we would show you everything we bought because we bought quite a lot not just at the comic con but we bought some bits after in york city as well so we'll start with the first what do you want to start with first with this so i got i've been wanting for a while um a little burn action figure got one Quite a cool, venomized version of Bane. Um, it was only cheap, like a fiver, but... His le oh, no, his hmm. legs don't move. No, I thought his legs move. Oh, well, there's how much I know. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, very much looking forward to the McFarlane Toys Bane that comes out in September, the Mega Fig. Definitely be getting that one, but this will do for the time being. This is all your stuff. Yeah. The next thing... Well, this was the first thing that Mike actually bought... But it's a pop figure of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness when he's the dead Strange. You've wanted this for a while, haven't you? Yeah, not being able to find it anywhere. Um, so you oh, bought this good. off the... F this was literally like one of the first stalls that we saw. Yeah, usually get um, pop figures from Hull Pops in Hazel, but they haven't had that one in. I think it went out of stock straight away mm. on their website and didn't manage to grab one. So, yeah, quite good to find that. Should you stay on the pop figure ones? Yeah. The next pop figure that we got is, I don't know, actually know what Krang. this is. It's Krang. Krang. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not like into this stuff as you are. So Krang from Ninja Turtles, it's like one of the big ones, one of the big pop figures. But it's really cool. It's actually a special edition. Yeah, I think they just, I don't think it's much. They just stick no. that figure on. What's he got in his ones. tummy? That's Krang. That's the... Oh, it's not the person? Well... 
I think I, I need to do remember. some. I can't remember. I need to do some research. I think it cranks the little thing inside and it's like a robot that it controls. Okay. Anyway, so that was the two pop figures that we got, considering we said we weren't collecting pop figures anymore. I got these to go with my pin collection, so I'll take them out of the packet. So there was a woman with a big basket, a massive basket full of Disney pins that were all £3 each. So I got, oh, where's the camera? There. I got an old style Mickey. And an old style mini. So they can go with my Mary Poppins ones that I bought in Disney Paris, didn't I? Disneyland Paris, yeah. So I need to actually put them onto my denim jacket because I've said that's where I'm going to pop them. Next one, again, your, well, I say these are yours, but I will enjoy them as well. We'll both play them. We'll both play them. So Southam Games... Um, who are a store in York who are very good go check them out they were featured earlier on the vlog um, had a stall at um, at the Comic Con 2 so picked up a few games from there um, just WWF Attitude Era for PS1 um, played this a lot as a kid so that'll be a lot of nostalgia same again with this one Simpsons Wrestling only £5 complete Simpsons with Gamer Wrestling. Manual I think ones I was looking at on eBay were like upwards of 10 15 quid um and even them had cracked cases in this and this looks up to be in pretty much mint condition so that's good uh and then just spyro on ps2 was going to get spyro on ps1 but it was like 20 quid and that yeah. was only eight full with manuals so we always look good. at retro games though because you've got all loads of old consoles and we really like playing all the games and stuff so but we keep looking out for simpsons hit and run don't we because yeah. the simpsons hit and run is such a good game and such an oh hang on we're gonna have a little intruder alfred visitor <laughs> a cameo from mr alfred oh. uh, named after alfred, alfred pennyworth. pennyworth from yeah. batman so yeah. our love for comic and sci-fi and all that kind of stuff extends into our home so the next, there's only two bits in the left. Well, that was it from Comic Con. That was everything that we picked up from Comic Con. We were quite actually, we were quite restricted with what, no, well, we, we restricted ourselves, ourselves with yeah. what we bought because we could have gone mad. There was stall after stall of things that we could have bought, um, but we tried to keep it sensible. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we tried to spend too much. So we then went off into York Centre and we went to um, actual Saw Thumb games um, and we went to look at the Mega Drive games and we got Quackshot for the Sega Mega Drive, which you picked up last time we were in there, didn't you? Yeah, I've been looking at it quite often. Every time I've been in there, they've had a version of it, but it's always been um, missing manual. Yeah, the last time we went but... in, there was one which was missing manual and then we said, oh, we'll keep an eye out. And then we went in today, the same copy was in there with a the missing manual for £15 but then this one is a full complete one with the manual and this was also £15 so and I feel even like has the little, it's, it's a weird thing to be bothered about but it uh, yeah, even has the little that's thing that's so weird that you even bothered about the hanger but it's 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 a rare thing because they snap off so easily you can see like the white bit kind of there but they snap off so easily so it's but yeah it's we very nice much like the Mega Drive don't we it's yeah, very nostalgic it's cool. and then the last item which I'm very excited about we went into the british heart foundation and i spotted this as soon as i walked in it's a disney jumper but it's got winnie the pooh on it and it's like a proper disney one so it's not like a asda or primark it's proper disney not that there's anything wrong with asda and primark to be fair but but yeah this yeah. was four pound fifty and it's proper, like, old-style, like, vintage sweater style. So I'm very happy with that. So that's everything we bought. And that's the end of the, the first first vlog. Yeah. Been a good day. It has been a very been good Been a very day. good day. Very impressed by your Comic-Con. Um, would happily go back again. Yeah, I think I we think would. We'll, um... We're going to keep an eye out and maybe go to some others, aren't we? Yeah. We'll have a look about um, see what I think are. the next one by the same company, Unleashed, is actually in Scarborough in September. But I don't know if we'll have time time to make that one with the house move and everything. But Possibly not. We'll see. We might do. Might try and sneak it in. But yeah. See you next time. <laughs>